as you look forward now you mm-hmm. know um and connect the dots the dots yeah. backwards um what do you see you know what what has become are you are you happy with what 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 you're seeing i am fulfilled yeah. i am happy i am happy and i i i, I guess I, i i i haven't scratched the surface yet mm-hmm in terms of empowering young people i believe i am called to support leaders and um support young people to be the best they can be and achieve their greatest potential in life mm. young people and children mm. and even leaders mm. um in general mm. and that's why i leave wake up go to bed every day just thinking okay so how can i um be a better leader a better person how, what can i do better what can i innovate around the work i do who mm. i am mm. how can i better support the young people i get to encounter mm. in my space mm. yeah mm. Mm. and and um so what are your personal aspirations though as you look forward into the future be a better a better human being mm. yeah be a better human mm. being mm. Mm. like what i talked about like listen better mm-hmm. so one of the things that um, i got along the way is um certification to be a leadership and life coach mm-hmm. um and in the world of coaching listening is a key skill mm-hmm. so how can i listen better what what is the story of young people out here in society so mm-hmm. how can we as youth serving organizations support young people better to bring them at the center of policy and decision making processes mm-hmm. How can I as a team leader at Emerging Leaders Foundation serve my team better support them better and mm. ensure they get to grow and even be greater leaders mm. than I am how do we engage the young women and men that I get to encounter or that we get to encounter through Emerging Leaders Foundation how do we support them to be transformative leaders who then get to transform the spaces they find themselves in mm. just seeking to be a better leader to live a full life to mm. love fully to love unreservedly to serve better mm. and to serve selflessly mm. and and die empty mm. that mm. is my mm. mantra mm. Mm. die yeah. empty fantastic and and um so as we begin to land the ship now mm-hmm. um you have an opportunity now to tell Karen O'Colly when when the the, the Karen O'Colly who was in um you know who had just been born decades ago uh, a few a few a few things what what, what do you tell her Oh, thank you for that question. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Number 1. Mm. He never ever despise the humble beginnings. Mm-hmm. Remember we started with five girls, mm. went to like 7, 13, 17, mm. 15. Mm. And now on an annual basis we we reach not less than 1,000 young people. Mm-hmm. So don't despise the humble beginnings and the beginnings might be so humble and you may struggle but but keep the faith keep your eye focused on the goal mm. i know at some point i almost gave up mm. but i remember i had people around me who then were pushing me and telling me no can you can do this you can do this mm. lesson number 2 i would share with my younger self or with leaders and individuals and especially young people out there is don't give up I know that might sound like a cliche but you know what oh please don't give up things and life just like the weather keeps changing and like the seasons of life today it's winter tomorrow it's summer autumn spring things change situations are never permanent so even whatever situation a leader or someone is in just keep the faith and know that you know what someday this will change and so don't give give up don't give in um don't despair keep hope alive like that is so critical number 3 keep improving yourself things are changing the globalizing world keeps just uh, changing and transforming every single day things are changing technology and a few other things are coming up every single day so we have to keep improving ourselves and upskilling ourselves learning better being better individuals better leaders learning new things every single day 
Alvin Toffler once said that the elitists of the 21st century will not be individuals who cannot read or write, but individuals who cannot learn and learn and relearn. So meaning that learning is a lifelong process. So learning is so, so critical. Mm. Um, number four, surround yourself with positive minded individuals and people who bring a positive energy and people who are for you. Not everybody will be for you. Not everybody will be happy to see you succeed and, and, and go up there. But just surrounding yourself with people who believe in you enough that when you fail, they remind you who you are. You know, like the movie um, Lion King, mm -hmm. um, Simba gets reminded that he is actually Simba. Mm. He's the king. Mm. We need people who get to see our true worth and actually um, remind us that, you know what, you are special, you're valuable, you're worthy. Like, that's really, really uh, important. A support system right. is also really, really yeah. important because definitely moments come when we fail, mm. moments come when we fall short. We then need positive voices around us to remind yeah. us, you know what, you can do this. Mm. But there's power in affirmation, mm. self-affirmation, just mm. reminding yourself that, mm. yes, you failed here, but if you try harder, if you mm. try some more, if you mm. just stay there a little mm. longer, mm. the story could change. Mm. The story could be, could be different. So don't, don't quit. Mm. Um, what's the other lesson I'd love to share? Hmm. Mentorship works. Yeah. Mentorship works. Mm. Mentorship works. Mm. I would say if you have no mentor, mm. oh, please find Get yourself one. a mentor. Mm. If you have no mentee, mm. as you're getting mentored, mm. mentor somebody. Pass it what on. you said earlier, mm. pay it forward. Mm. You know, mm. it, it's really important. Mm. And I also want to just state that true love is a really, really powerful thing. Mm love for humanity mm. i think love in its essence i think is one of the most radical and powerful forces um in the world today that, that i think we are yet to experience the full force of um just imagine what would happen if people in positions of authority and leaders actually led from a place of love love for humanity love um, to see society change and people live better quality lives, things would be would really, really be amazing. Mm, mm, so mm, what, mm. what I keep stressing is let's let's lead from a place of I love and a place of wholeness because mm. it, it's really powerful and, and, and quite untapped mm. in our society today. Mm. What else? What mm. else? Those running institutions, please put in place mechanisms, systems, structures, processes, mm. procedures, that then supports the growth and the scaling up of the work mm, that you do. Mm, I mm. think in a nutshell, mm. yeah. The, 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 so young Wakoli, young Karen, those are the seven things. Oh, and believe in yourself. Now Remember, I, I never used things. to believe in yes, myself so yes. much. Or oh, believe in yourself. Yeah. Things, miracles happen when yeah. you believe in yourself. Yeah. Don't look at your circumstance because we are not where we were born. True. We are not the families we were born in. Mm. We are not our tribes. Mm. We are not our races. When mm. We are just who we are. Right. And we're special. And it doesn't matter your race, gender, origin, background, status, position, whatever. Mm. What matters is what is your dream? Mm -hmm. Are you able and ready to pay the price mm. to then get what you want out mm. of life? Mm. Because a lot of times, especially for young people, we see the glory mm. out there mm. and we forget that there's a story mm. before the glory. Mm. I'm always looking out to hear stories of individuals who've gone before me to just understand what journey did you walk? Mm. What path did you walk? What mm. challenges mm. did you face? And how did you overcome? Because mm. then we learn yeah. from each other. Iron sharpens iron. And speaking of that now, as we conclude, before I give you an opportunity to to just enter it yourself, the, speaking of the um, stories of others, if there was two or three people mm. in the development especially maybe in youth development or in youth participation, youth, the, the broader development in this, who are accessible to, to development dynamics with Maxi, who would sit here, who would inspire you or inspire the broader um, field um, and whose story is worth uh, being shared here? They are many. Give me two or three. They are many. They are amazing individuals out there. Yeah. 
in the counties at the national level regional level doing some really amazing work they are many right and we need to profile and document their stories and their journeys right people like nirima wako cs place people like rafael obonyo the youth congress people yeah. like teresa njoroge clean start yeah. people like joy gikandi linet misheni yeah um Cynthia oh, oh, Nyongesa. You you moved too fast for Joyce and uh, Lynette. Where are they? Who's which organizations? Um. The, no no no. Uh, Mirema, you said she has a place. Uh, Clean start. You said uh, Teresa. So this this last thing. So those those are additional names of individuals, uh, either supporting youth organizations or just leading in okay. their own spaces right. in an amazing way. Aha. Jahazi David from Mastercard Foundation. Right. Um, Jim India from Emerging Leaders Foundation. Mm. Stella Nderi to mm-hmm. Grace Mageka. Mm-hmm. Um, Timothy Gashusha, mm. Wanjuhi Njoroge, mm. uh, oh my goodness, Nadia, mm. Kas Nadia. Mm. Mm. All these people are doing some really mm. amazing stuff and mm. when you go to the counties, you then get to meet another pool mm. of amazing of individuals mm. doing mm. amazing stuff. Mm. Mm. Yeah. And is Nerima doing, um, uh, is she Nerima or Nerima? Nerima. Yeah, is, is she running for office this time? No, no, no. no, no. no. Her husband is. Yes. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Nerima, we're looking for you next. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Teresa, I think, has been uh, has been featured quite quite heavily, mm-hmm. but also, you know, very open to to yeah. having a, a lengthy sit down because it's yes. uh, it, it's it's one of the things that we're offering here. You know, like a proper lengthy sit down to just document your development. You, your story, your life, and uh, impactful story in the development c- scene in this uh, storytelling for social impact um, channel that is Development Dynamics um, with Maxi. And, and, and therefore, thank you so much for spending your time with us today. Uh, we're looking forward to airing and sharing this and uh, giving you an opportunity now to wrap it up. Well, how would you like for me to... Wrap it up. Anyhow, it is for you to to, to wrap it up. There, there is there is the non-formal one where you we, we will guide you, but here is uh, here is your chance to huh. blab as you will. <laughs> wow. Hmm. I think we are as as a country we are at a point in our history when history is actually unfolding we will soon be having elections. I would urge every individual out there to actually be an active and responsible citizen and get to show up and vote. And if you can talk to your family, your friends, your neighbors, and just enlighten them on the need to engage as Kenyans in this particular process, please do that. We need each other. We all need to be aware of why Kenya counts, Kenya matters, Kenya is special, and so why we need to get into the process and get to vote and hold our leaders to account. Because like John Maxwell puts it, everything rises and falls on leadership. Mm-hmm. The leaders we have determine the quality of life that we live. Mm. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much. Thank you too.